to the lawsuit. Yeah, nah. It's very, very hard to prove it. They could just say they didn't know. I didn't know, I just thought we were. It's a, you know, it's hard to prove that they knew. Like, you'd have to find some, like, secret Discord somewhere. Where they've, uh, they've admitted, like, oh yeah, true's good, and uh, I'm doing this just like, like, they won't do that, they're not morons. Straight to prove them wrong against the top players. I mean, the only way I'd get a win streak going is if uh, I just played Nurse all the time. Like, me objectively thinking about it, that's the only way I'd do it. The, the people I go against are way, way too good. Um, on average. Well, are people still doing uh, win streaks? Now that I'm in streak, I've just stopped. And who are they doing it with? What killer? I don't check out DVD content creators because it's... There's so much deception going on that um, it's just not... I don't really like it too much anymore. They are doing win streaks. Um, I mean, you shouldn't be able to do win streaks with unviable killers against top level survivors. So, that's all I know. Maybe if you lose lords and lower your MMR by losing lords, and then you can start. Yeah, but I would get a streak. But these people, if they're like so good, and they win with every killer, and they get them, like, oh shit, they get on like massive win streaks and stuff. Why don't they just go on comp and just show everyone how to play? <clears throat> because on comp, they need like really like sweaty strategies. Uh, they go against like weaker level uh, survivor perks, etc., etc., and they still won't get on win streaks. So it doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> Doesn't make any sense. It doesn't correlate to what should be shown. I, I like. Am I wrong? If you're going against top level players, you shouldn't be able to go on win streaks with every single uh, killer. Because if you could, that means that comp would be a whole different ball game. Don't correlate. Simple as. Think he'll go for the the vault again. Nice. That can be a smarter play. It's what the uh, the smarter survivors do. Though the very very smartest will be able to probably get ready to do that and then stop at the last second as well. But we got a lot of dramas. I mean, it gives them some exposure and shit. All I was saying is just uh, filters give you an advantage. People are putting words in my mouth because that usually does happen on Twitter. But uh, if you have a look through the thread, you'll see. I just keep saying the same thing.
with what these other streamers have for their god build. Yeah, I bet it's an all gen defense. Oh, that was bad play. I bet it's an all gen defense. I, I, bet, I bet it's some meme shit, honestly. But somehow it works on like the top players. Yeah, okay. Somehow the top players don't do any gens. And call it loot. Like, it's just, it's, I, I don't, I don't believe it. Cont I don't want to play Cont Liam. I don't want to go against sweaty four mans every single game. I don't want to just play nurse every game. I don't want to use filters. Can't force me to play Comp DBD when I have zero respect for Comp DBD, the fuck? Makes no sense. Seeing as you're playing really well at the video game, why don't you do Comp? Because I don't wanna. As soon as you're good at um, a video game, it doesn't automatically mean you need to start going into comp and you find a team and shit. <laughs> I'm a streamer who shows uh, every killer with different builds, your builds sometimes, uh, going against switched on survivors to have uh, very close matches. That's it. Someone were here. Mm. Okay. Silly position, for sure. Mamba. Oh. They were saying it was three volts, not four. It was four, though. I think it were. I need to look back again. Like, it didn't really that big a deal for me. I know that it's a bigger deal for them. It's like the Bison thing, isn't it? Like, um, when you went against me, it was like the greatest moment in your life. But for me, it was just Tuesday. But it's that kind of shit. Like, to me, it's just one match I had. It weren't like this big, big thing. Called the guy the best looper in the team. Uh, mentioned uh, that he'll be using filters because it's comp and then he went all ego on me saying oh I can five five minute run you for I mean I can run you for five minutes without filters and, blah, blah, blah. and got all like defensive even though he's using filters so I don't know why I'm defensive Nice dead ours. Should of thought she were gonna do that. Still nice though. Small usage. This girl's good. She's not dropping it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> This us girl. Are you kidding? There we go. Fucking hell. Balls of steel, man. <laughs> Crazy. <coughs> Pop. If I stop respecting the pallet, she'll stun me and get to a safer pallet. Uh, Vagro. Obviously. I want to keep her there because it's a weak pallet. That's why she was doing that. See? Didn't respect that one. Now she gets stun and distance. See? Didn't respect that one. Stun. Distance. I might be able to wait here, though. Oh, she messed up. She messed up. Nice. She's at a weak spot here, though. Is 
Like what part is? Yeah, if she gets the stun, she gets to a, a stronger pallet. That was a weak pallet she were at. I don't know why I would capitalize the risk of getting stunned over then waiting maybe another 10 seconds, 15 seconds before she, uh, to definitely get her instead of allow her to get to a place where I physically can't get her. Seems more logical to waste 15 seconds and be safe than be unsafe and potentially lose minutes. But if you don't go against survivors who actually react to that shit, then yeah, just brute force. Um, Morty, thank you for the prime. I appreciate it, man. Window, safe. <laughs> Gonna push that way, she got window. Yeah. Should I still should I have a hit here unless it's a pallet or a window? Not bad movement from her though. <laughs> uh, you're right. I like pallet. It was better to play safe. Uh, uh, on the first time swing. Well, it's like a charm. Hard to say. She was playing really smart, that girl. So she was playing quite smart too. When you go against really good survivors, um, you can't just brute force. If you try to just brute force everything, they'll just pre-drop every pallet on top of you and then get distance to the next one and you won't get anything. Like, if you get to a loop which is unsafe, they know that and they're going to play very smart at it because they don't want to put that pallet down because now they're unsafe. That what they need, like, that's how DBD should be, by the way. DBD should be the... Uh, Survivor needs to get like a, a pallet drop on you to 100% be safe. Otherwise, if they pre-drop the pallet, they put themselves in a situation where you have an advantage, but there's still a chance of them getting away. That's how it should be, but it isn't. But when I do see loops like that, I capitalize on them. Because there's not many. And that was one. So I'm definitely not going to throw my 